Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to the final day of devotions as we are focusing on letting go of worry. Don't worry about a thing. It adds nothing to our life. We, has, we have looked at these passages of scripture and Jesus has taken something that is um, universal and it is part of living that we have to deal with things that are unknown in our lives. And the question is, how will we how will we deal with those things? And Jesus says, worry does not lead to another single day of life. In fact, it takes away life. And so what should we do? Uh, what do we need to do with our worries? And today, first and foremost, Jesus ends this passage of scripture in verses 33 um, and 34. Uh, Jesus says, but strive first. After all this stuff we've talked about, strive first for the kingdom of God and God's righteousness. And all of these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. So, we begin, you know, Jesus has listed all of these things, food, clothing, shelter, all, all of these things that we worry about that don't add anything to our lives. As we hold on to them, we try to control them. And Jesus says, instead of worrying, here's what you got to do. Strive first and foremost. First and foremost. Strive first for the kingdom of God and God's righteousness. And all these things will be added to you as well. The things that you think you've got to have control over. God says, if you'll seek me first, then these things will be added to you, given to you as well. So, every day, we have the task of trusting in God, in placing God at the top of our priorities. And this is one of the ways that, for me, has been so important in my spiritual growth. Um, and I have to tell you, it is something that I continue to struggle with my entire life. I am sure that I will have to yield to God every single day for the rest of my life because I want to snatch that control. I don't know about you, but that's one of the things that I struggle with in my own life. Um, so Jesus says, you know, if you're striving for this, you can stop worrying. Stop worrying about tomorrow. Um, notice that Jesus doesn't say that we're exempt from anything that's hard work and obligation, but we, we simply need to acknowledge that our part in the job of the job is minor in comparison that God is in control of me. My work is, is less than. God's control in my life. God's first place in my life and in yours. I like to say God is God and I am not and I have to say it regularly every single day. So we're to desire first and foremost the kingdom of God and God's righteousness, the things that are God's will and way in our lives. And um, if we place God in the proper place in our lives, other things will line up. They'll line up underneath them. And this is a work of God. This is not magic. It's not going to happen immediately. But we can trust as we grow in our faith in God that it will get a little bit better day by day. So the things of God are first and foremost. And when that happens, when we place God first and foremost in our lives, a change takes place. And as I said, it takes place over time. But, you know, we've been doing some songs this week, and the one that came to mind that I think sums up this whole, whole series that we've been doing on treasure is a change of heart. And there's a song that says, Change my heart, O God, make it ever true. Change my heart, O God, may I be like you. And... I want to make sure, yeah, that's what it is. 
Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. I'm the clay. Mold me and make me after your way. That's my prayer for you and for me. As we are considering what is our treasure. And hopefully, as we go through this time and our lives with God, the treasure becomes more and more. God, God is our treasure. And God gives us all that we need. My prayer for you and for me is that we may discover the richness of that treasure, the rich life that having God and Christ in our lives offers us, and that we will be released from the other things that vie for our attention so that we will know that God is with us, that God cares for us, and that, you know, the worries of today are enough. Let's be concerned about today and giving those worries to God. And know that as we are faced with new challenges each and every day, that God is with us. May it be so in your life and in mine. Let's pray together. Today, oh God, we seek you first. Before we look to things that we have to care for and the people that we feel like we need to provide for, let us seek you, oh God. Let us seek your kingdom on earth. We desire your righteousness instead of trying to create our own. We seek you first, O oh God, and experience the joy of all of the things that you have given us. Thank you for your blessings, O oh God, and continue to show us your will and your way every day, today, and every day of our lives. In Jesus' name and for his sake, we pray. Amen and amen.